Hey guys, B again here. Just wanted to show you guys what's going on in the house right now. Uh, the other night we thought we lost our microwave and everything started misbehaving. Um, essentially, run the microwave for a little bit, it would die. And then all of a sudden, we don't have a microwave. And the following morning, we didn't have our coffee maker. I uh, figured the microwave was going bad, so we were looking at that. And then all of a sudden, the following day, power comes back on. It starts working for a little bit again. Okay. So, not the microwave then, right? I'll show you where the microwave is here. Microwave is plugged in right there. And that's what went out first. Followed by... where our coffee maker's plugged in. And then we also, as of this morning, our GFCI switch not working. There's no tripped breakers. There is nothing tripped in the system. So through a little bit of research on the interwebs, I'll show you what I found. So we go here, we go to the multimeter. We're going to switch it to the 200 volts AC. Slide that back here. So this is the first outlet that stopped working. I'll see if I can do this one-handed, so I apologize. So this is a 120 volt circuit. I'm only getting 40 from the power in and neutral. Now, if I go up to this one, same thing. However, if I take it and I do the ground and power in, I'm still getting a 120. It is like this. So it's like this on every outlet in this series. So this is what happens when you do it on a good outlet. One twenty across. So now we got to go through and check all the outlets. We're going to start with the first one that is not working correctly, which I believe is the GFCI. We're just going to take the cover off after we shut off the breaker and check everything, make sure um, everything has a good connection there, make sure nothing looks burnt. If I find anything, I'll let you guys know. So I'm just going to show you guys here what I found when I pulled back the GFCI outlet, the one I suspected to be the problem. Um, you tell me, does that look like a problem? GFCI outlet itself is all melted and burnt up, and the cord going to it is all messed up. I think we found the problem. <laughs> 